Right, uh, good morning, good afternoon and good evening and welcome to a little update. I'm putting this up before I actually put my uh, trip, uh, trip weekend away trip up. And this is entitled, um, basically, um, what happened uh, and why I just left a little bit earlier from Scotland. And basically, uh, very simply, um, I had a gas explosion in my cooker and uh, it caused a little bit of damage to things that you wouldn't think of which I'm going to show you it's taken me quite a bit of time to work out and understand what happened but the laws of physics and science dictate that if something expands rapidly something's got to give and uh, it isn't my waistline although it's coming close to my waistline what it was if I can get up because I did actually come off my bike um, the previous Saturday uh, before I went away and so my knees are a bit sore um, they're starting to heal up as you can see um, a bit pink and scabby um, whatever this one wasn't so bad I've got to, I did have a slightly black eye because um, I hit my face as well on the floor because it's a big face you know so I caused a bruise in my cheek and I've got a, a, a sore shoulder and a wrist that's swollen up but that's another story anyway <coughs> so let me swing you around so get up in the morning Monday morning uh, David Lindsay had went of course and goes to put the cooker on so puts the cooker on there you go lights the gas burner and uh, walks away as I thought and this flap is up anyway I was collapsing my bed down my bed of course sorry to swing you around a little bit uh, sits in this position here and as you can probably imagine I was just packing it away and it goes and tucks away up here in the uh, I don't know what I can still never remember the name but it goes behind that door and so I was standing here anyway kettle's boiling away no kettle's you know cook, cooking away happened to turn around and uh, I was about this far away and then bang absolutely bang what I mean bang the door at the front blew down the cooking had jumped out of its skin and I went straight away to turn the gas off and the flap was already down the oven was open etc I'd inadvertently left that one on as well so the gas from there crept down and the explosion happened from this area here and blew out it didn't hurt me made me deaf for a bit and of course I thought like whew, blimey turned the cooker off checked it okay put the cooker back on realizing that I'd left this I'd turn this one by mistake because I leave this flap up and I couldn't see it was on big mistake that's mistake number one what I didn't know is when I finished packing everything away I went to close open my shutter in my uh, heck, 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 sights hecky light and it actually blown this up and out and smashed off the hinges here for locking it actually blown it open and smashed these so I can't lock it so I have since in four far jiggled about and put some cable ties in heated up a screwdriver poked the holes and I got a couple of cable ties and when I say both sides both sides although that's in position that is smashed as well I can assume it's smashed but it held in place took no more notice carried on driving well no I sorted myself out checked that that I could probably drive with the roof lights here and it was fairly secure what I didn't realize 20 miles down the road was that uh, it also blown out the front one of these now um, I don't know whether you can see that but that oh sorry that is broke both sides so basically that and I'm going to shoot you down the motorway that's what I was hearing and I'm thinking I'm going to lose it Manny that from gaffer tape this side didn't break as you can see so I've just resealed this back in I've just ordered another one because it, it is smashed it's, it, there's no two ways about it it's smashed so I've just ordered another one of those and of course as I was tinkling down the road I'm going to go and bend down here and there you go even a little bit of exhaust was tickling on the road I thought what's that so I managed to pull into a lay-by and there's my old tatty exhaust I've picked it up and put it in the van because that bit on the end cost me 40 quid so I've priced up an exhaust Ooh. 
some would have never burned so yeah, dirty fingers so all in all um a pretty eventful uh time um the reason the back vent didn't blow is because it was open and it must have allowed the gases to escape um and it was very much like um i don't think you see some of the films when they put a flashbang in there i call it flashbang you know whatever it did go with a bang and i'm telling you it went with a bang big ball of flame bang and off it went uh touch wood that gas burner that was left on by mistake or must have tricked on by mistake um is a bit of a problem it won't light so it doesn't come out very well the gas so i was lucky but other than that everything is fine so i've ordered a front vent uh, sorry the front uh, roof light uh 40 odd quid's worth these things up here those black things to replace they're about 18 pound a side so you have to dismember both sides left and right hand so there's another 36 quid and the exhaust is 100 pound um, from coastal motorhomes so all in all yeah a big lesson learned so now when i put the cooker on i put that front flap down you know so i can see the controls i don't know how i caught it whether it was just in the morning just getting up and just you know putting the kettle on for a cup of tea no idea but um yeah and to have the <laughs> the vents blow open and i mean that the, the the big hecky one was was literally standing up it was like i don't remember leaving that open until i come to pull it down to lock it and then uh, the locks had gone and i thought it's got to have blown open by the gas and then refirm that with the front vent as well anyway i'll put this up lesson learned um steady drive back uh, sadly i didn't get to meet my friend colin um he was working on the monday and then tuesday he said he'd meet me on the morning but by about half past 10 i'd had enough um got a bit frustrated over certain things which is you know the roof and the, the exhaust so i trundled on home I'll catch up with him next time um my knees were a bit sore anyway and uh, stuff but i had a great great weekend fantastic weather fantastic company and i was treated like a bit of a king but thank you very much david and lindsay i hope you are okay i know you're on your trip uh, this week sometime the end of the week uh, so good luck to that so i'm going to post this now and i hope everyone uh, will make a nice comment and call me stupid but i have no idea that is the first time i've ever had an accident like that in a van and uh, to this day i still can't understand how i, I touched or knocked the switch i've no idea anyway lesson learned catch you all again soon all the best love to you all and you you know who you are <laughs>